Hi everyone, this is Kristen, and today I'm here with the Catalyst case for iPhone 6s Plus and iPhone 6 Plus. This is a waterproof case with some very impressive specs. Its drop protection is pretty standard. It's drop protective for up to a six foot drop. However, it can be submerged for up to five meters or 16.4 feet, which is much deeper than the competition. It's also cheaper than the competition. It's $74.99. However, it does have some usability issues. Size-wise, the Catalyst case is approximately the same size as your Life Proof Free. I think that it's very slightly larger than the Life Proof Free, but it's not a very significant difference. In terms of composition, the Catalyst case has a very nice feel in the hand. The outside of it here, this, this uh, gray rubber here, is a um, very nice soft feeling. It gives a good grip in the hand. Um, it extends all the way around the case. In terms of your port covers, they've decided to go with a single port cover here on the bottom, which is made of a soft rubber, and it's very easy to open and to close. Opening it up, you can see we have reasonably large port openings for a waterproof case. This will accommodate some third-party headphones and lightning cables, although not that many. Closing it up, also very easy, no problems there. In terms of waterproofness, this case did not give me any trouble with its waterproof test, although of course it was done in my kitchen and certainly not to a depth of five meters. Going around to the side here, as I said, I really like the feeling of this case. Don't so much like the feeling of the volume up and down buttons. They're quite hard to press. In fact, they even hurt your finger a little bit when you are pressing them. The mute switch, however, works great, a real pleasure. I really like this wheel that they've got going on here. And going around to this side, again, um, power button, hard to press. Works, but it's hard to press. Going around to the back here, the camera and the flash all work fine. There's no flashback issues. Everything is perfect. Love this transparent back. It's one of the very nice things about this case. I think that overall it makes the case look smaller. I'm not really sure why, but the fact that you can see your phone somehow is just visually very pleasing and smallifying, I guess you could say. Going around to the front here, looking at the screen protector, I think that this is the weakest link in the Catalyst case. It just does not work as well as the other things. Now, certain parts work just fine. Obviously, Touch ID is great. Touch ID is perfectly flawless, no problems with Touch ID at all. But the screen protector itself is not as good as the plastic screen protectors that I have tested with most waterproof cases. There seems to be more of a screen gap, I guess, um, because overall the screen is just not quite as responsive. You have to tap a little harder um, and everything is just a little bit more irritating when using this screen protector. Um, it really detracts from the case, unfortunately. Now, some things are fine. Swiping up, no issue with that. Swiping down, no issue with that. That's all perfectly fine. I didn't notice any problem with 3D Touch. However, just in general, any kind of tapping and texting, it all just seems to require just a little bit more effort. Um, also, this seems smearier than most plastic screen protectors that I have encountered, and it has a very reflective surface and seems to show um, every little smear, every little fault. So uh, that part is not so good. There's also a small amount of rainbowing. Uh, you can see it up here in the corner a little bit. This is very common, again, with this kind of screen protector, so I don't think you can really fault them for that. Audio quality with the case is perfectly fine, particularly your incoming audio. So any kind of music or call quality as far as um, coming in is fine. Outgoing is a little bit more more challenging. As long as you stay on speakerphone, calls are fine. Uh, people seem to be able to hear you fine, but if you go off a of speakerphone, then my experience was that other callers were having trouble hearing me. So that part's maybe not so good. But overall, I think that the audio quality for a waterproof case is perfectly acceptable. Opening up the Catalyst case so you can install your phone is a little bit on the difficult side because this is a very, very tight seal. You can use your fingernails or you can use a coin. I found a dime to be the easiest one to use. 
you look here at the bottom, there is a slot. Mine is a little bit beaten up looking already because I was trying various objects to pry this thing off with. I finally found, as I said, a dime to work the best. There we go. Once you get that initial click, you're generally pretty good to go. And it will come out. Just getting that initial bit started is the hard part of the whole business. To install your phone into the case, first of all, you want to be very, very sure that uh, the case itself is perfectly clean, that the seals are undamaged, and that they are not dirty because any compromise in the seal can obviously compromise your water tightness. And then you also want to make sure that your phone is perfectly clean as well. Make sure that particularly your home button and your camera lens are extremely clean and free of any kind of oils because that can affect how they will work in the case. In order to make sure that your mute switch is going to operate correctly, be sure to turn the mute switch operation wheel clockwise before installing your phone. Next, as I said, of course you want to make sure that your phone is perfectly, wonderfully clean. Once everything is clean to your satisfaction and your mute switch wheel has been put in the correct position, in other words, you've turned it clockwise. You need to start by putting your phone in bottom first and then press the top into place. Next, you want to take the back of the case, put it on top, and then press it into place, pressing down in opposite corners first. You want to make sure that the rubber o-ring doesn't start to bulge at any point, that everything is still in good shape, and then press it back completely down into place. Go around the edges and make sure that everything is looking good and has been pressed down correctly. Press your rubber covers into place and you are good to go. Installed. In terms of included accessories, the Catalyst case comes with a nice little wrist strap which attaches in the corner down here. However, interestingly, it does not come with an audio adapter. Most waterproof cases that I have reviewed do come with an audio adapter and the Catalyst does not. Uh, they offer it for purchase on their website for $14.99, but it doesn't come in the box. However, whether they are bowing to pressure from other manufacturers or whether this is a special for Labor Day, I'm not sure, but currently if you order the Catalyst case, you will get the audio adapter bundled in free. In addition, you will get a free Pokemon Go tool. They also sell a number of other accessories on the website for the Catalyst case. There's a multi-sport mount, there is a belt clip, and then there is this floating lanyard. They sent this out to me to review. The floating lanyard is actually really a pretty great idea. Basically, if you drop your phone in the water, rather than sinking, you will be able to retrieve it because it has its own little life preserver. This will support more than three quarters of a pound in weight, so it is really pretty hefty. It fits around your wrist. You have this little adjustable strap here, so you can adjust it comfortably to fit. It goes into the same place that your normal wrist strap would go. And in fact, you have a little quick release thing here if you want to take off the floating lanyard if you are not using it. And then you just have this small thing attached to the bottom of your phone, really pretty inconspicuous. So um, I think that this is really a pretty good idea for a waterproof case. And this should work with uh, any waterproof case as long as they have a place to attach it. This retails for $24.99 and is not currently bundled with the Catalyst case. Overall, I think that the Catalyst case has a number of good points in its favor. Its degree of waterproofness is very impressive, and I really love the way it feels. It has a very, very pleasant feel in the hand. It's also got fine audio quality, and the price point at $74.99 is definitely lower than the competition. On the negative side, these hard-to-press buttons really kind of get me down. Um, not a fan of the screen protector. I feel that it really cuts into the usability of 
of this case. And this is also harder to get on and off your phone than most waterproof cases that I have encountered. So definitely a mixed bag here. With an MSRP of $74.99, the Catalyst case is available directly from Catalyst as well as from other retailers. It comes in four colors. This is the white and mist gray. There is also black and space gray, rescue ranger, and green pop colors. The floating lanyard retails for $24.99 and is available from Catalyst as well. Many thanks to Catalyst for sending me out these samples to review. If you have any questions about these products, please feel free to put them in the comments below and I will do my best to address them. And many thanks for taking the time to watch this video. If you are interested in subscribing to my channel, please consider it. I do try to put out two to three videos a week on accessories for iPhone 6S Plus, iPhone SE, and iPad Air 2, and I would love to have your support. Again, this is Kristen, and this is the Catalyst case for iPhone 6S Plus and iPhone 6 Plus. Have a fantastic day.